What is up, Eagles gang? It's your boy Vic. Welcome back to Vic Talks Eagles, a show where we talk all things Philadelphia Eagles. And if you're excited the Eagles being 5 0, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe as I appreciate that as it helps the channel grow. But now, let's get to the business. Eagles are 5 0 as they beat the Arizona Cardinals 20 17. It got pretty ugly there at the end, but they squeezed one out. Luckily, their backup kicker. Missed the game tying field goal that pretty much sealed it for us. But let's talk about the offense. Jalen Hurts went uh, 26 of 36, and also 15 for 61 on the ro- uh, ground rushing, with two touchdowns that were like one yard touchdown quarterback sneaks, which has become like an unstoppable play for them. Whenever they need one yard, they hit that quarterback sneak. It pretty much gets them two or four yards every time. But I would like them to see to switch it up when they get in those positions. Maybe run it with the running backs or, you know, everyone's expecting it. So it might be opening it up for, like, other pass plays on the goal line. But nonetheless, um, Dallas Goddard led the team with receptions. Uh, he went n- 95 yards with eight receptions. Uh, A.J. Brown didn't really have a big day. He went, I think, three of 32. I would have thought they were at him more involved. And Devontae Smith had a pretty decent day, too, with 10 or 87. So you almost want to have those guys finish with touchdowns. So I'd like to see, like, the passing game get a little more going here. I think that's what everyone's expecting as well. But uh, let's see here. On the second half, Eagles didn't really score touchdowns. Uh, They need to get into that habit. That seems to be a trend that they kind of slow down in the second half for whatever reason. But they did end up getting two field goals in this game. The backup kicker, Dicker, the kicker, Cam Dicker, uh, hit two field goals. That pretty much won the game for us. If we don't get that, if we shut out, if we get shut out offensively, we would have lost that game. So he, at least he came in filling, filling in as a backup for Jake Elliott. He did what he had to do, unlike the Arizona kicker. Um, on defense, uh, they shut him down early. Uh, Chauncey Gardner Johnson picked off Kyler. He also had uh, 10 tackles and a pass deflection, which he would be my uh, player of the game if I would pick a player of the game. Uh, if, who do you guys think? Comment down below who you guys think uh, the player of the game was for this game. But anyway, I just love the energy that he brings to the team. You can kind of tell he's starting to get comfortable in the defense. As you can see on the little in the locker room, he's definitely comfortable with the team. He's fitting right in. As for the front seven, uh, didn't really get much pressure on Kyler like I would have expected. Uh, I knew he was going to be hard to get down as he's so shifty and athletic out of the pocket. But Kyler, not oh, sorry, excuse me, Hassan Reddick did get the one sack. But I would have liked to see more pressure on Kyler. Uh, I think it's going to come down to Jonathan Gannon just calling more blitzes to get to these quarterbacks. I think he's relying too much on uh front four rusher which is they're good at times but every now and then you're gonna need to blitz more to get to the quarterback but yeah that's pretty much it like i said eagles beat the cowboys or eagles beat the cardinals as we head into cowboys week uh it's actually pretty exciting i'm going to the uh gonna be at that game on sunday night it'll be my first eagles game so we're gonna be going to the eagles game uh versus the cowboys comment down below i'll be there some of my boys uh but yeah that's pretty much it thanks for tuning in guys peace